wonderful ginger iced tea. Mm. This is good. A little tangy. It's very nice. You can, this can be served hot or cold. We also have a papaya mango drink here that is absolutely amazing also. Taste this. Mm. Nice and rich. You can taste the mango in there. Oh my god. That's good. The other thing we ordered is an appetizer. This appetizer, are fly, fried plantains, very common dish, very common appetizer. They do a lot of different things with plantains on the islands. So this is something that I grew up with, and this is something that I love. So I'm going to try theirs. Look at this. You don't necessarily have to use a fork, but I'm trying to be nice. Mm. This is good. Nice and crunchy on the outside. It's a little bit of onion in there too. And the plantains are warm and soft. Very nice ideal for an appetizer. And the kids will love it because it's not spicy. So this is something you can take and order for the family. Food has arrived and it looks absolutely fabulous. Starting over here, Marnie has ordered the shrimp gumbo and she says it's absolutely fabulous. I cannot taste that because I have a shellfish allergy. But we also have here, and this is wonderful, this is the vegan uh, potato lasagna. And I'm going to dig into this. I mean, you have a lot, you have your potatoes, your vegan cheese, broccoli, green beans, asparagus, uh, potatoes, of course. And let's just see how this tastes. Mm. Very good, very creamy. You can eat this and it can be really light. There's some carrots in here, is everything you need. Um, along with that, you get some jasmine white rice. And I also ordered a um, tilapia. And I chose to have the red beans and rice, a traditional Caribbean dish of red beans and rice that is very, uh, very um, good for you. And this is something that you can have, actually have as a meal in itself. Mm. I want a very good one. Get a little piece of the tilapia here out and see how this fares for our palate today. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is really good. It's not too spicy, so this is something that if you wanted them to add a little bit more spice to it, they probably could. But this is something that also your kids can order if they don't want a meal that's too not spicy or not hot. We also have hot sauce here at the table if you wanted to add this to your meal to make it a little bit more spicy. But the flavor and all the vegetables in this tilapia is absolutely amazing. Definitely a must try for this restaurant. Okay, now this is the best part. We have real cheesecake with toasted coconut and chocolate. Yes. So I think it's time to dig into this. Do we have to share it? Mm. Very good. Very creamy. Toasted coconut just makes it special. I love it. So Marnie and I are just leaving Sheoga. And as we leave a restaurant, we really want to reflect on um, how we felt for the entire dining experience and rate the restaurants with star levels, one to five, five being the best food, atmosphere, and the whole ambiance and service um, to what we uh, experienced. Shea Olga, we would look at a two and a half star right now. Um, it's a, still a good place to go, take the family, you'll get a little ethnic flair for your food, but it didn't quite meet that Caribbean flair that I'm used to growing up with my father. He was a great chef. I love to cook and the spices and the flavoring and the uh, perfection that my father put into his cooking, I just didn't quite meet um, that expectation I was looking for. So try it for yourself and see how you like it and I'll see you next time.